Good morning, YouTube. How you guys doing today? Kevin here coming at you guys. Um, I was asked on, uh, we caught I get asked a lot when I did my shock video. Um, a lot of guys are chiming in with their older KEs and uh, from the 70s. So, I figured I'd do a quick video. Okay, so um, the, the shocks that I did one on was this style right here where you pop your rubber cap off and then you take off the spring clip and then you, you take the shock and you slam it apart and that's how you would get the um, the seal out and then you take some sandpaper, you clean up inside there, make sure it's really nice and clean and then lubricate your seal and slide it in, you know, drop it in with a, uh, a, a socket and tap it in, in in place and that's how you do those on a 1980 and up um, Kawasaki KE100s. But I have a lot of people who have the 70s ones as well. So I'm going to show you guys. That's a little different because you can see the seal, but there's no retainer clip. And that shock looks like this. Okay, where it's a different style. And you can see the seal right in there. You're like, oh shit, that's easy to get out. And it's really not. So um, I'm going to do an update video on this. So this collar right here unscrews. Okay, you can unscrew it, but it's very hard to unscrew. So I use two different types of methods. Um, one, I have rubber gloves. You can use kitchen gloves too, like if you're doing your uh, dishes. And then I grab it. Put my, glove, my gloves on. Or as my little guy calls them, gloves. Grab it and see if you can twist it apart. Very hard to do. Does come apart. And it unscrews like that is how you get it apart. Just like that. And then the whole thing comes out like this. As if by magic. You guys watching this part right here? Then the seal. You can slide the seal piece right up and out. And your seal is in there that you can replace. Right there. And then you pop it out and put your new seal in. And then slide it all back together. And it's just that simple. So everything else is the same, with the exception of the way the seal is held on there. So that's the other style seal right there. So I figured I'd do a, an update video on how to get that apart because they're basically the same with a difference of unscrewing one's threaded and one is not threaded. Um, and that right there is the difference between the 70 seals and uh, what do you call it there? The 80s and 90s. Now, everything from my previous video, you'd be you'd be doing the same as far as cleaning up everything, inspection. It's basically the same. Even the tube is pretty damn close. I mean, everything's pretty much the same. That's that collar here actually slides down there, so it's got a little bit bigger of a collar, but. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, the fork tube itself is generally the same. Um, it's just the way the seal is held on. So hopefully that helps you guys out when taking these things apart. Um, this is for the 70s KE um, and 100s. So this came off of a, a trail, a trail bike, um, trail 100. So I figured I'd take apart that shock to show you guys. Um, so you guys won't be shocked when you take your apart. <laughs> See what I did there? The other method I have, if you can't get that apart with gloves, some of those, you know, from the 70s, it's going to be tight. Um, this is a strap wrench right here for an oil filter. You could use a strap wrench as well. You'd basically have someone hold the um, tube, you know, the uh, that big part right down there with a tire bolt on it, or in this case it would be a black part, and put this around the nut and then wrench it off with a ratchet. So that is how you would take apart the um, seal assembly on the um, the older KEs and the uh, trail bike 100s. So 
I just figured I'd do that quick for you. Uh, hopefully this helps. Um, please comment and feedback if it does. I really, you know, I'm interested in knowing how you guys made up with your stuff. And as always, I like follow-ups, you know what I mean? So if I'm helping you out, please please let me know if that, that my videos are helping you and that um, the information uh, adheres to yours. Because if not, I might have to look and see if I have another style shock. You know what I mean? So, um, as always, I'm, I'm here for support and uh, to help out and see if I can give you guys the information that you guys need. So this video right here is going to be shocks part two um, on the KE 100s, um, and hopefully, like I said, hopefully that helps you. There's another style shock. Um, I don't know if your bike would have this. Um, it's like the KD um, KD 100 KD 80 style, and I think I showed you that before. Where it doesn't use a clip at the bottom of the shock, there's a hole. See these holes right here, and you would put your um, Allen head through here and unscrew that that plug. So this is at the uh, at the bottom. So if you have this style shock right here, some of these bikes have these style. Okay, it's the same thing, just that instead of um, having a screw on or a clip up top you would have a bolt in here normally an allen head um to take that out so and then you would put that way in there you'd you'd wind it out and then this right here would release the tube this tube right here from that so that's the other style shock that you may be having so uh, hopefully that helps you guys out so if you have if you see the holes at the tip then you have to use the allen head if you have that big, looks like a big um, collar, then that's a screw-on style. And then, of course, if you have the newer bikes that just have that little rubber um, cap on them, that's a spring type. So, so if you get the little rubber dust seal on top, you pop that off and then use your retainer clip to take the tube out. And if you have the um, that style right there with the fender mounts on it, then you would have this style collar and unscrew it and this is chrome but they don't always come chrome keep that in mind some of those are black okay they come black so anyway hope the uh hope this video helps you guys out and um by all means please let me know please subscribe and uh please comment below